The idea of organizing this course comes from the work done at Navimeteo, a center providing marine weather information for navigation. What's important is that meteorology ought to be considered as a truly on-board requirement. It's not difficult to learn how to interpret a weather bulletin. What's more complex is to adapt what the bulletins tell us on a specific area. Marine meteorology is based on very easy and solid principles. If we manage to learn the letters of the weather alphabet, we will also be able to learn the infinite situations that will occur, especially in the Mediterranean Sea. The language we will use during this meeting is very informal. We do not want to bring forward to you theories at academic level. What counts is the elementary theory by means of simple words, the ones you'll need during navigation. The way we are going to follow includes a purely theoretical first part, as we do need to get to know well the basic rules. For example, we will go through the wind movements. We will talk about pressure, as it is the changes of pressure that give way to the wind air flows. We will also go through the energy of the sun, as this is also responsible for the winds picking up along the coasts. We will be moving on introducing the large systems, anticyclones and the lows that move over the sea surface and the continental areas. According to the air flows, we will then analyze the weather fronts i.e. the cloud systems pushed by air masses at different temperatures. The wind generates the waves. We will then try and understand how the waves behave in the Mediterranean and how they are deflected by the effects of refraction along the coasts. We will then try to interpret a bulletin and will learn how to draw a weather chart on our own. On top, with no presumption, each of us will try and write his own bulletin in accordance with the official sources, but with a little more participation. Although this course starts from the basic theory, it has been devised for all mariners, sailors, yachtsmen or sea professionals. In fact, the marine frame is the same for all of them. What changes is the sailing techniques. The sailboats will favor certain kinds of situations. The planing vessels will encounter more difficult conditions with headwinds. The large ships will undergo a rolling effect with a beam sea. Then, in the same context, things can change considerably. This makes the decisions on board and the understanding of the weather on board very important factors for them all. The key word of meteorological navigation is positioning. That is, we cannot simply be pleased to know where we are geographically through the GPS giving us the latitude and the longitude. But have to know also the position in relation to the areas where the weather changes. What we'll try and do during the course is to recognize the synoptic situations, that is, the overall picture, and try to adapt the general situation to the local weather. Ocean forecasts are much easier and more accurate, bulletins are more reliable, but when the large weather systems reach the Mediterranean area, the Pyrenees, the Alps, the Alpenines, they cause strong turbulence. Then it becomes more and more important to have an accurate forecast available. In the last decade, Forecasting has become more reliable and the risk to be caught by an unexpected gale has definitely decreased. This, however, should not lower the attention of the captain as he needs to grasp the signs of a change in the weather through his direct observation of the phenomena.
The orography plays a fundamental role in the marine weather forecasts. When the air flows spread across the Mediterranean, they meet obstacles such as the Alps, the Apennines, the islands, as it is the case with the water flowing down a river and encountering stones which generate eddies. In the same way, the wind will blow against obstacles, becoming turbulent. This is why in the turbulent areas, the forecast becomes more difficult and it gets trickier to find out what the weather will be during the navigation. One of the prevailing winds in the Mediterranean is the Mistral, which breaks in the Gulf of Lyon, spreading in a fan-shaped fashion like the fingers of my hand do. The development of a Mistral flow over the Gulf of Lyon affects also the Ligurian Sea, where a depression usually forms on a local basis. Trying to work out what the weather will be like some time ahead will enable the captain to determine the weather conditions at local level. Knowing about marine meteorology means knowing how to use a bulletin, not like a red signal of a traffic light for a gale warning or green for no warning, but this is rather how to analyze the information in a more critical and conscious way. It is the best approach for people going out to sea to be safer and a little less surprised by the weather changes. The interesting thing is that we can consider the boat as a moving weather observation station. This is why the sailor, in relation to a station on the ground, cannot rely on the conditions in his position but will have to expand his view of the weather along the route. If a sailboat moves at a seven knot speed after sailing for 10 hours, it will have covered 70 miles. 70 miles are a little less than 130 kilometers. Now then, what will happen 130 kilometers ahead? It is clear that the weather I can find here, where I am, can be significantly different from the one I will encounter 130 kilometers away.